the system that tracks every major software vulnerability on the internet almost shut down. It's called the CVE program. CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. It's a globally recognized system for identifying and classifying known security flaws in software, firmware, and hardware. Every time you hear about a major vulnerability, it gets locked with a CVE ID. If it has a CVE ID, it means someone is tracking it and working on a fix. That ID is then used by security teams, vendors, vulnerability scanners, patch management systems, and government agencies. It ensures that everyone is referring to the same threat using the same language and at the same time. Without them, it becomes way harder to know what systems are at risk, what needs to be patched, and what threat is real versus fake. In April 2025, the organization that runs the CV program warned that its funding from CISA was about to end with no renewal in place. Without it, new vulnerabilities wouldn't be logged, dates would stop, and global cybersecurity coordination would be disrupted. But 11 months extension saved the deal for now. Because if CV funding is cut off, new security vulnerabilities stop getting tracked. No more official warnings, no new ID no updates on the list every tool relies on. Security teams won't know what to patch, winners won't know what's urgent, your phone, laptop, hospital, your bank, they'll get slower at fixing things that actually matter. And attackers, they won't waste time, they will just break in because they're blind spots. No CVE means no shared map of what's broken. That's an open door. No CVE means no coordination. Coordination means delayed patches. Delayed patches mean exposed systems. And exposed systems mean successful attacks. We patch fast because we know what to patch and we know what to patch because CVE exists. Break the chain and you don't just lose time, you lose control.